Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Rita. So we're gonna jump right into this WEF, World Economic Forum, Forum uh, fiasco. So um, I'm gonna put a link below to the video where I go into a lot more detail about some of these things that I'm gonna discuss today and I even wrote some notes. Yes, I am ready. Um, so we're gonna talk about this and talk about what I think is being missed when people are discussing it the things that I think are um, being sort of overlooked. I've seen a few people reporting on it now that it's kind of news and people are aware that it's going on and um, you know, different media outlets where before they were calling it a conspiracy or just plain on it, plain on it, um, or plain ignoring this idea that a bunch of people in the 1%, when I mean 1%, I don't mean millionaires, you know, just people with a million dollars or whatever, I mean, you know, um, banking people in banking, people in in um, retail, philanthropers, like all these different people, politicians are meeting to uh, discuss what is to happen with the world, not just one country, but the entire world. Um, under the guise of climate change, they are proposing some far, far out ideas very authoritarian, authoritarian, most of them, for those of you who don't know. So um, the, what I wanted to talk about today is why it, this is important, because we can all talk about, like I've seen some people report on it in kind of more of a mocking way or more of a jeering, you know, with this more of a jeering tone behind it. And, and yeah, I get it because it sounds so, some of the things that they're trying, that they're talking about, you remember the, the slogan, um, you know, you'll own nothing and be happy. That came from the WEF. Now they're trying to they're trying to distance themselves themselves from a lot of this stuff now. Um, they are trying to pretend that they never said they were trying to uh, abolish private property. That they were trying to have us have people eat bugs for protein and get rid of cows. We remember this is familiar, right? The getting rid of cows when AOC came out with her Green New Deal and all the poly everybody laughed at her and thought she was really far out. But really, they did that on purpose. They put her up front and center to introduce these ideas because they knew that the people who it would matter to wouldn't take her seriously. But lo and behold, these are parts of their policies. They were serious about getting rid of cows. The reason this matters is because politicians like AOC she didn't come up with this out of thin air. And that's what people didn't understand at the time. She didn't just, you know, if, if it seems completely absurd, there's probably some truth to it in, in some form or fashion, right? And so when politicians talk about trying to introduce legislation, so that's the part I want to talk about today is legislation. So how does this work exactly? So basically these people, these, these, these bankers and um, big tech and even some news outlets, some of the, the you know, the major uh, news outlets and others, they all get together, companies, everybody, they all get together and they talk about how they're going to create this global government. And now we know what that means. I don't, you know, we know what that means. I don't want my video to have a little tag on it, a little info tag at the top, but we know what a global government means. Now, for some people, this might seem like, oh, what's the big deal? We're going to, you know, be a, a global government. Like we're all citizens of the earth and, and, and all of this stuff. Um, but what, what is going to be required of you to get that done? Well, what the WEF, what the WEF is planning that some of the things that they're talking about that is going to need to be done is wide open borders. We already see that happening. Um, and other things that reparations, we already see that happening in the United States. So the link between what these people are talking about and policies that are actually in motion, things are actually being passed in this country, in the US, in Canada, in Australia, in other countries, the things that are actually being passed that we look at and we think are so far off, like what is actually going on. These are things that the WEF have been talking about for years. This is their way of transitioning what they feel, what they see, transitioning us into a global one world society where, of course, they get to govern, they get to eat steaks, they get to fly around on private jets but we get to live in project type dwellings. And what do I mean by projects like public housing? Their idea is 
that we all are packed into a city. They hate the suburbs. I, I, I did another video talking about Biden, um, I think last year or the year before, how when Biden came into office, one of the first things he did was he started uh, trying to crack down on certain having certain permits in the suburbs and opening it up to be able to build like these massive housing developments in the suburbs. Why? Because the WEF doesn't believe in suburbs. As a matter of fact, on their website, I don't know if it's still there. I didn't check today because they are deleting pages. But on their website, they talk about these 15 minute cities. You might have heard of it. You might not. But they talk about 15 minute cities that they really want to try to push everybody into. Um, they already have some pilot programs going on, one in the UK, one in Bogota, Colombia. Uh, I forget what the other one is. And um, somewhere in, I want to say Dubai, they're building this huge mammoth of a property called The Line. I'll put the clip here um, if I can pull it up. And this huge property they're building where their idea is that you're not going to have to leave outside of these premises. You're going to have everything you need right here and they're going to be able to monitor and track everything. Now, this is the plan of the WEF for climate change, for your carbon footprint. You shouldn't have to travel 15 minutes outside of this city to do anything, to work, to get groceries, whatever. This is their plan. Okay. The problem, obviously, we all know what the problem is. It's totally uh, totalitarian. And yeah, they obviously think that everybody is everybody else are a bunch of peasants and serfs and they get to dictate even what you're eating, where you go, what you watch, what you hear. Um, you're only allowed to hear, you know, what they want you to hear about safety and no misinformation. So you see where this is going. The huge problem is we have politicians who were attending this conference. Now, the politicians fee, my understanding, is free. But all the big wigs who are there, all the bankers and the, these industry leaders or whatever, these philanthropists, they all have to pay these big tickets, $45,000, something like that is what I heard. But the politicians don't pay anything. Now, why wouldn't they have to pay anything? Well, because you know what is happening, right? We can see it in our country. What's happening is politicians are going to this thing and obviously are talking with these people, not their constituents, may I remind you, the people who actually voted them into office. No, no, no. They're talking with these people about how to make the world a better place, how to make it a utopia, you know, where everything is equitable. We love that word, don't we? Equitable. How everything is equitable, equi will be equitable and and all of these other crazy things. Everybody's going to be eating bugs and vegan and whatever, whatever. But our politicians are there. Okay. Our politicians, some of our politicians, not all, some of them are there. Uh, Brian Kemp of Georgia was there or is there, was, whatever. Um, J.B. Pritzker of Illinois, there. Maria Salazar, there. And two of these people are Republicans. Okay. We all know J.B. Pritzker, what's going on in Illinois. So they are basically the constituents. It's whatever. They're, they're, they're not really paying any attention. They don't care. They are beholden to, we already, we always knew that a lot of most politicians are beholden to lobbyists, right? But this, they are beholden to these World Economic Forum people. Klaus Schwab with his, um, mad science and Bill Gates with their ideas of, of, of a utopia where they get to rule and we get to be the serfs who have to listen to what they say. They get to monitor us, track us. They even had a panel will clap at this conference that's going on right now in Davos where Klaus Schwab was talking about microchips. Now, everybody always wants this call, quick to call people a conspiracy theorist when they start talking about microchips. But uh, Klaus Schwab is talking about microchips. They're talking about transhumanism. He's actually talking about being able to read or 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 know the thoughts or the feelings of someone you know else in the room because you're all going to be interconnected through this massive computer. I mean, it is wild stuff. He's on video saying it's really wild crap. What's my point? My point is when we do things like push through a 1.8 trillion dollar bill and we don't know what's in it it's earmarked they call it earmarks are all the so when it says the national defense bill and all of its earmarks so the earmarks are all the little things that different politicians slip in there 
Okay, all the little things that are slipped in there. So when you see things like 15 minute cities popping up in the country, or when you see things like kill switches, which is what Joe Biden, uh, which is what was in one of these bills, kill switches on vehicles. This is part of WEF's plan. They believe that if you go outside of your 15 minutes, they should be able to turn your car off because you're polluting the environment. So this is why we should be concerned. In order for the WEF's plans to, um, to go through, they will have to have politicians on board who are going to write laws that coincide with their vision. Basically, they're taking their marching orders from WEF, not you, not me. They're taking their marching orders from these people and they'll lie and say they're not, but they absolutely are. And then they start to implement these crazy ideas and into bills in your state and make it into law. This is the thing that nobody is really talking about and the problem with this WEF meeting. This is the problem. If these were just a bunch of rich people that who wanted to hobnob with each other, get together and talk about who knows what, nobody cares. But the fact that we have elected people who are supposed to represent us, then they go and fly and make allegiances or whatever with these maniac um, totalitarians at the WEF, that, and then they become beholden to them. Then they come here and they creep past laws that we are utterly confused about all the time that make no sense to us, but makes perfect sense. When you're trying to build a 15 minute city where you think you're gonna force people to show a digital ID, that's another thing they're working on. Digital ID, and I've made a video about this as well, um, where you're going to have, they, the, their goal is that you won't be able to leave this 15 minute city and you're gonna have an ID that's gonna have your medical history, your credit cards, or your way to pay, your bank account, whatever it's gonna be. And they're gonna be able to monitor what you are doing, where you're going, what you're eating, what you're looking at online, everything. And they also wanna be able to provide money to you. So when they talk about reparations, they're gonna give you all this money, like California pushing all the reparation stuff. Some of their goals um, or some of their pillars is in, in with the WEF, is everything is justice, social justice, LGBT justice, uh, people of color or yeah, uh, people of color ju justice, women's justice, like it's all social justice stuff and they link it to climate change. And this is how they get some people to latch on to that. The problem is there are a lot of useful idiots out there who are rallying behind this stuff, not realizing that they too will be forced to live in a 15 minute city with a digital ID. Oh, by the way, uh, mandatory vaccines is on the list. They want to be able to force people. Our current FBI director was there talking about how they've made great strides um, in moving toward their goal. So this is problematic. And I'm, I'm not sure how some of this stuff is not seen as some type of treason. And like I said, if these were just a bunch of millionaires meeting, who cares? But the fact that these are uh, big money groups meeting with politicians to enact, to push through policy. Klaus Schwab has in, pre, in previous videos bragged about having penetrated cabinets in every country. Maria Salazar, who's supposed to be a Republican from Florida, was actually on the panel talking about, well, forget all this pathway to citizenship. No, we shouldn't have pathway to citizenship. We should just, with open arms, just these people come in, we should just take them in and just embrace them and just make them citizens just like that. Like, why do they need a pathway? They should just be able to walk on in. Republican, because she says something about people who look like me. Republican in Florida. So we are seeing more and more that party affiliation. I mean, it, it's, it's like you really just have to see it, it's It's really nothing. Like I told you, Brian Kemp was there. It's really like whatever. At this point, we need to just take, pay attention to what these people are doing. Who cares what they say? Who cares what party they say they're for? What are they actually doing? Are they actually trying to make changes? Are they actually saying what we really are doing, what they're supposed to be doing? Maria Salazar and whoever else was there, whatever other politician was there. I'm sure even if it's a Democrat, I'm sure Democrats, um, a lot of, you know, just very, a lot of moderate Democrat voters don't know what their representatives are over there doing, basically selling out the American people and selling out this land actually to people who wanna turn 
this world upside down, make it a one world government. That's a lot of what's coming out of that, that Davos crew. A lot of what we're seeing in our world, a lot of the chaos with the, 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 you know, the COVID and the vaccines and the, the economy and the supply chain stopping the, key, the Keystone Pipeline, talking about banning gas stoves. This is coming out of our government. A lot of the ideas that are coming, that they're spewing is coming from this, this meeting, this WEF. That's what we need to keep an eye on. These policies that are being passed, not because of something we want, but because our government is clearly beholden to people who want to punish us for being America and who want to basically um, tear down this country and every country and make it into what they want to make it into. Anyway, that's my little rant chat for the day. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I will try to make more videos. My computer is still on the fritz, but I got my phone, so it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Anyway, um, until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Ciao. God bless.